my name is Guzan and I'm so happy to see you here. I hope you're all doing fine today because for today's video we're going to be doing a maxi summer dress and for the first time in my life, yes, for the first time in my life, I will drape my pattern on Mini Gugu. This is Mini Gugu, by the way. I actually have a design in my head already and this is my inspiration. So I want the front similar to this one, but I will add a seam on the bust and I will extend the side so it covers a little bit more my sides. Then I will definitely have three tiers and for the back, this is what I have in mind, but the laces will only go through the sides and not the back of the first tier. On top of the first tier, I will add elastic instead. So for the first step, we need to make a pattern and for that, I'm supposed to use draping tape but I don't have any, so I will use a cord instead and hope it will work. This is gonna take a minute, so I'll be right back. I'm only working on one half of the pattern as the other half will be symmetrical. Basically, what I'm doing here is molding the fabric onto mini gugu and then once it's nicely shaped, I just trace it. For the bustier, I will have three pieces in total. The center top piece that I'm draping right now will be cut once on the fold. The side pieces will be cut twice, one for the right and one for the left side. I think for the first try it's not bad at all. I leave a happy me right here. There you go, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to cut the pattern pieces so I can draft the pattern properly. I put the pattern pieces onto paper and trace around the pieces. I retrace around the pattern in red so you can see it better. Then I add one centimeter seam allowances all around the pieces. For the center front piece, where you're supposed to cut on the fold, you don't have to add seam allowance, but I needed to extend that piece for my bustier. Then for the side pieces, there's also a one centimeter seam allowance all around, except for the back seam. We need five centimeters. Then I cut my pattern pieces. Ta-da! Already! Here I show you how to measure your waist and all you need is a tape measure. You can use your dress form if you have one or you can measure your own waist. Start at the top of your hip bone. Then bring the measuring tape all the way around your body, level with your belly button. Make sure it's not too tight and that it's straight, even at the back. Don't hold your breath while measuring. Check the number on the tape measure right after you excel. For me, it's 70 centimeters. To define the width of the first tier, we need to multiply 70 by 1.5 centimeters. So it's 105 centimeters for me. For the second tier, you multiply the width of the first tier by 1.5. And for the third tier, you multiply the width of the second tier by 1.5. To make sure I have enough fabric length for my dress, I will divide these measurements by two. So I can have one front and one back piece for each tier. To these measurements, don't forget to add two centimeters seam allowances for the side seams. Then for the length measurement, place your tape at your waist and let it drop down. And you will measure whichever length you want. I prefer to place the zero centimeter lever towards the floor so while taking the measurement, I stay straight and avoid mistakes. You can also take your favorite skirt and measure its length from the waistband to the head. I will go for 102 centimeters in length and this is without the seam allowances yet. If you decide to have a maxi dress like mine with three cheers, then break it down into three parts. Here are my measurements.
And as always, I add the seam allowances to these measurements. It's basically one centimeter on the top and bottom of tier B and C. But for tier A, only the front piece has a one centimeter seam allowance on the top and bottom because for the back piece, we need to add three centimeters seam allowances to place an elastic. Look, this is the fabric that I'll be using. A kind elderly lady gave it to me for free and I think it was meant to be a bed sheet or a curtain years ago. But as soon as I saw this fabric, I imagined this maxi summer dress. I love it so much. Let's start preparing the tiers. Here, I trace the tier A pieces. So, one of them measures 54.5 by 50 centimeters, and the other one measures 54.5 by 52 centimeters. Then I trace the tier pieces B and C as they all measure 29 centimeters in height. Then I cut the fabric. Here I measured the right length for tier B, so I need two pieces of 81 centimeters. Then for tier C, I need two pieces of 120 centimeters. Now it's time to prepare the bustier pieces. I fold my fabric right sides together to cut each pattern piece twice. Here I place and pin the center front piece on the fold as I don't want a seam in the middle of my front top. Then I pin the side piece as well. Once that's done, I cut the pattern pieces. As I want a lining as well, I repeat the same process once again. Then for the exterior bustier pieces, I prepare interfacing so it will be structured. I press them onto the fabric like this. Now let's prepare the laces. I trace two strips of 100 cm by 2 cm. Then I cut the pieces. Let's do a recap on all the pieces that we've got. Two A pieces, two B pieces, two C pieces, two laces. For the top lining, we have one center front piece and two side pieces. Then for the exterior of the top, we have one center front with lining and two side pieces with lining. Before we start the sewing process, we need to overlock some pieces. So here's the detail. We need to overlock all around the A pieces, the B pieces and the C pieces. Now I take the A2 piece I fold the top part at 3 cm and press all along. Then I open the fold and fold at 1.5 cm and press again. This is where we are going to place the elastic later on. After that, I sew 1 cm from the edge. We will need to gather some pieces. So here we will gather the top edge of A1, both B1, B2, C1 and C2 pieces. For the gather, I sew 5 mm from the edge and then sew again 7 mm from the edge. The gathers are nicer this way. To make the laces thin, I fold the strip in half and press like this. Let me show you closely. 
Then I open the fold and fold 0.5 cm and sew all along the fold. After I fold twice by 0.5 cm and sew the lace. Here I have the center front and the side pieces of the lining. I place them right sides together and pin them like this on both sides. Then I sew. I repeat the same thing for the exterior pieces. After I press the seams open. I upcycled cuffs from an old bra and I decided to sew it in between the lining and the exterior fabric so I can wear my dress braless. So I will sew a few stitches on the lining right here on the bust seam and at least it will be invisible that way. Ta-da! Now I place the laces in the corner like this and pin them on both sides. Then I place the lining piece on top, right sides together and pin the top and the sides. Next, I sew all around except the bottom for now. After turning it the right way around, this is what it looks like. I checked if it fits me and if I needed to make any changes and it's all good. So now I can close the bottom but I leave an opening here so I can turn it back the right way around. Here I place an elastic where we saw the top edge of A2. I'm using a 22 cm length elastic. You just need to measure your back waist and take off approximately 10 to 13 cm. But it will depend if you like the back to be tight or not. Then I sew both edges with the elastic. After that, gather A1 accordingly to your front waist. Next, I place A1 right sides together with the bustier. I start to pin and I mark 1 cm from the edge. I continue to pin all the way down and mark 1 cm on the other edge. I will only sew in between these two marks. Take the A2 piece and place it right sides together with A1. The 1 cm gap that I left earlier will allow me to pin the sides and sew 1 cm from the edge. Then I press the bustier edges. Originally, I was going to fold the back edge at 2 cm, but after checking up on myself, I decided to fold it at 3 cm like this. I press towards the lining to keep this edge flat. Then sew 1.5 cm from the edge. Here I gather both B pieces matching the bottom edge of A. And I do the same thing with C pieces matching the bottom edge of B. Now I place the B pieces right sides together and pin the sides. And I do the same thing with the C pieces. Now 
Now I sew all the sides one centimeter from the edge. Once that's done, I press the seams open. I place tier B and A right sides together and pin all around. Then I sew one centimeter from the edge. And I do the same thing to assemble tier C with B. I finish up with the hem and we're done. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to help support me. See you next time. Bye bye. Ooh.